Hello and welcome awesome people! Is it really possible that character as important as Megumi Fushiguro will be removed from the story just like this? I don't think so. I believe that Megumi still has a role to play and it will be way more important than we might think. It's clear that Sukuna will be defeated. Even if we don't know how or when, it's bound to happen in the near future. The sudden growth in Itadori's power, Sukuna's increasing rage and Urome's words about Itadori having the same potential as the King of Curses all point to that. So will JJK be over once Sukuna is defeated? I don't think so. Let's not forget that a new Tengen can still be born, and if Sukuna is pushed into a corner, he will most likely do that. The good guys have already used up a lot of their powers, and their numbers have dwindled. By the time Sukuna is defeated, their condition will definitely be worse, and most of them might even be dead. So who's going to stop the newly born Tengen? That's when Megumi Fushiguro could come back into the fray. Megumi's talent has always been exceptional, but he needed just a tiny bit more selfishness and determination. He lacked the unyielding spirit that drove Itadori forward. Even though Itadori was inferior in other ways, he managed to become much stronger than Megumi ever was, thanks to his indomitable soul. With Megumi witnessing everything Sukuna has done and seeing how Yuji keeps moving forward against all odds, there is a chance that Fushiguro will become more determined and follow his friend's example. If Megumi manages to change his weak personality by the time Sukuna is defeated and he regains control over his body, he could become a force to be reckoned with. We all know that Megumi's curse technique is one of the strongest in the series, and on top of that his body was controlled by Sukuna all this time. Considering what Kusakabe said in chapter 258, that Sukuna operating his technique in Yuji's body allowed him to gain exceptionally quick understanding and growth, because his body remembers using extreme special grade Jujutsu. We can assume that Megumi's body has undergone similar changes, and considering that Sukuna has used Fushiguro as a vessel for much longer and in way more intense battles than Yuji, it's clear that Megumi could gain more from this than Itadori did. Please keep in mind that when I said Sukuna has used Fushiguro's body longer, I meant that he has been controlling it longer himself, because Yuji was a vessel for a longer time, but Sukuna rarely got a chance to control it. So due to this, the experience his body gained was limited. If you are enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe. Apart from Megumi potentially becoming a savior, there is also a chance of him becoming a villain. Actually, I'm leaning towards this option more, as I think it's more likely to happen. I think Sukuna will be defeated by Yuji, and thanks to Black Flash continuously boosting his potential, Yuji will likely achieve a state where his powers are close to the OG Sukuna. The new villain Megumi would be a great way to test Yuji's newly gained prowess. Considering how broken Megumi was the last time we saw him, and his insistence on dying, I don't think there is a great chance of him making a comeback as a protagonist. Also, what anime has taught us is that villains are often broken protagonists. Megumi is someone who loved his sister more than anything, and his personality was never strong. He was not difficult to break, as Gojo pointed out, unlike Yuji and himself, Megumi lacked the strong spirit that would allow him to move forward and never give up. Sukuna exploited his personality and broke him beyond repair. The King of Curses attempted the same with Itadori, but Yuji is unbreakable thanks to his indomitable ideal. So when Megumi regains control over his body, he will likely be uncertain about what to do. Once he remembers everything he went through, including the deaths of his friends and sister, there is a high chance that he will simply go crazy and rampage. Yuji will be forced to fight his friend who has replaced Sukuna. Considering all the facts I mentioned earlier, Megumi could be even more difficult to deal with. Not only will he be able to use his domain and curse technique, but he will be further strengthened thanks to Sukuna using his body all this time. And on top of that, Yuji's personality will also make it difficult for him to make up his mind and be as determined as he was against Sukuna. All of this will shake Yuji to his core and he won't be able to use Black Flash at will because as I explained in my video about Black Flash, determination and a clear goal is very important when it comes to triggering Black Sparks. Well, there is one more possibility that I am going to explore in an upcoming video. I believe that Yuji will get at least one more power up, and he's very likely to get his own domain or maybe even a malevolent shrine. Also, we know Itadori had two Soul Swap partners during that one month training period, and we don't know who the second one was, so there is a high chance of Itadori having one more curse technique. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this. I always take your thoughts into consideration when it comes to making a new content. If you enjoyed the video, please support me by liking and subscribing. We are already close to 500, so let's make it happen as soon as possible. See you in next one, guys. And in the meantime, as always, stay awesome.